Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my shop. the 75 Corvette today and we're going to start putting this tail end back together. We'll put the, uh, we'll press the uh, bearings into the carrier and mount the carrier and get this thing ready to get back on the road. So stay tuned and well let's get down, get busy, and let's get dirty. All right, this is the left side. And you see I got the L right here. All right, the, the ears here, they face in, all right? And the uh, strut goes there. And uh, see, I, I put a few divots in the surface here when I uh, had to take a chisel to get this, to ch get him off, get him separated. So I've cleaned them up with a grinder and a file to make them smooth. They don't have to be perfect, they don't, you know. But uh, you don't want anything sticking out that'll cause it to cock in any way. So you want it as flat as possible, all right? And uh, now we're gonna put that uh, bearing assembly on. Now you notice I do not have the bearings pressed in yet, all right? We're gonna try it a little different. Now what's happening is my exhaust system is keeping the uh, strut arm from coming down enough, so I'm going to have to uh, help it a little bit. Make sure you got this pin right here. This pin already in. There's no way to get that pin in. <laughs> Good. Well, it's hot without my fan. I got to turn my fan on. It's just too hot. <laughs>
I'm gonna go greasy. This side down. Well, I got it grease good. All right, don't mind the fan noise. What we're going to do now is we're doing the left side. We're going to knock in the grease seal. All right, we're going to put the uh, bearing in and we're going to knock the grease seal in then we're going to work from the inside so be right, right here's a close-up of the greased up bearings ready to go in you notice the inside diameter is bigger on one than the other the biggest one goes on the outside all right because of the biggest uh, uh, surface on the spindle here is on the outside okay so what we're going to do is pre-install the bearing in here then we're going to put the grease seal in Grease rag. Rag dedicated just for grease. Just want to get it off the edge. Alright. All right. The bearings in there. And you got two different size grease seals. The largest, of course, will go on this side, on the outside. Got my bearing driver. Now I've greased the spindle here, and I've greased the inside of the bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and insert him now. All right, he'll just hang there. Now I'm going to go on the inside and uh, put the shim and spacer in the bearing, and we'll get it pulled in. All right, you can see there he is sticking through. Now we're going to put the spacer and the shim that we've already pre measured on a previous episode when we set these up. All right. Now we can insert the bearing 
Alright. Now he'll kind of hold him a little bit. Now let me get some grease off my hands. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to use this special tool to pull it in. Alright. You right back? I'm back you see that Is that in the way let's see if I can get it over some there how's that okay Here's part of that special tool. All right, we're going to thread him all the way on. Hand tight. It doesn't have to be uh, wrench tight, just hand tight. Put him on. Get him started up on there. All right. Now we've got this big spacer and this big nut. I can't get my uh, tool in here, my uh, electric impact, so I'm going to have to do this by hand. All right, which kind of in a way I think is better because, uh, well, you know, you ensure you're not uh, stripping. Let's see. Yeah, that's him. All right. inch and a quarter all right. all right now we gotta get a crowbar out here to hold the uh, wheel from turning and we're gonna pull him in No, a big question is when do you stop? Well, I believe it stopped itself. So, let's see.
Now I had a I had a problem with a lug nut. The back of one of these uh, wheel studs hitting those uh, parking brake spring. And I'm thinking I'm hearing it now. I had to do a little grinding. So that's what I'll end up probably having to do on this one too. Alright. He looks alright. Let's uh, take him off and see. Other than that spring uh, hitting that parking brake uh, hold down spring, feels good. Right. Just a little bit of play. All right. Looks like there's enough to get the. Uh, Now for the dust cap. Now he was a pain. It's an inch and a sixteenth. Now we're going to tor torque him to into 100 foot pounds.
Now, I hope... And they don't. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. Hey, baby, yes, it is. Let's see. That the hole right there? Let's see. Well, I lucked out. <laughs> There we go. Now let me go figure out what's going on with that parking brake spring hitting. All right, the backing plate got be bent probably by me beating out the old bearings. So anyway, here we go. Nice and smooth now, babies. All right, now we're gonna put the lower, bolt the lower shock mount up and get the shock mounted. And I believe I'm gonna call it a day. So anyway. Maybe I lucked out on my whole cotter pin hole lined up. And it did. All right. Now we get the other shot.
I don't know if that caught that or not. I looked over, it wasn't recording. But there's the upper shock mount, and I need to tighten the bottom one here, right there. All right. You remember that clicking sound? Yep, this is the side that was clicking, remember? All right. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll zip in a, I'll cut in a real, uh, brief sound of what this sounded like with the old bearing. Hear that? But that's on the left side. That don't feel as loose as the other side though. All right. Now you can see it's just a smooth, all right. No play. Well, I ought to measure it. I know it's going to be less than four thousandths, but uh, oh well, there we go. got the half shafts in torqued uh, we've got the uh, shocks in the new shock mounts we've got the new bearings in reseals dust cap on both sides all right I gotta say I've got a whole day just in this a whole day anyway all right, should you decide to accept this mission, I think I'll show you a few of the special tools that, uh, that you'll absolutely need to be able to do this. Uh, this is the setup tool. This is, uh, this is necessary to set up the uh, free play in your bearings and uh, for the uh, spindle. Now, they uh, slip fit, the bearings slip fit so you don't have to press them on and off. So that's a handy tool. That came, uh, uh, that came with the uh, bearings and seals and race uh, kit that I ordered all in one. Also, this is uh, what I used to press the spindle back into the bearings once it was installed. This also came with that bearing kit. I got it off uh, eBay. But uh, uh, you just, uh, just could not do it without uh well the way i did it you couldn't do it without this particular two all tool also now this is the uh spindle knocker this is what knocked the the spindle spindle out of the spindle carrier and out of the bearings it worked good all right uh that did come with the kit also yes that came with the kit also so the bearings the the grease seal the races setup tool press tool and this knocker tool all came in that kit all right this is the uh, lower uh, shock mount knocker did not work it uh, <laughs> it stripped out threads in this and it also ruined the threads on the uh, lower shock mount so I had to cut them out and replace them torque wrench you need a torque wrench of course and uh, and also you'll need uh, you'll need a dial gauge that will measure in thousands of an inch so you can set your free play uh, this is a uh, seal and race uh, installation tool you'll need that also a lot of the other stuff is just common everyday tools that you have but these are necessary tools that you have to have to, to be able to do this job DIY so anyway let me show you uh what I got done today then <sighs> I've fallen and I can't get up <laughs> boys and girls let me tell you this is a job uh I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here I think 
Uh, I got some more to do, but I got most everything done underneath here. Of course, I got the spare tire carrier to put up and the spare tire. And more than likely, I'm going to have to adjust on them parking brakes since they didn't even exist a day ago. So, who knows? I think I know why they probably took them out because it was rubbing the spring clip. And what it was is the pan was pulled out where the clip goes through. <laughs> so I guess they decided just to rip them out then to fix it. So anyway, so, man, oh man, I, I bet you it's just putting it together. Not, uh, now I'm not talking about done setting it up or taking it apart. Just putting this together to this point, I've got a full day in. I could have probably knocked it out better, faster, had I had a lift. Because I'm going to have me some, I've already had a couple cramps in the hamstring, so <laughs> I'm going to pay for this tonight and probably in the morning. But hey, that's just the way it is. So anyway, it's in. And uh, just got to button up some other things and this sucker will be ready to get out and do some running. Uh, you know, dry spinning everything, and no sounds at all. It was just smooth and no play. I believe we're uh, we're good to go on that. So, anyway, I hope everything's going good with you and yours. I think everything's going good here now. We'll see. But anyway, won't do me no good to complain about it because, uh, well, it just don't get done. And I could have left this thing up on the jack stands and thought about it, but I had to take care of the business. So, anyway, have a good one, and I hope to see you around on the next one. I believe I'm going to think about it. See you. Oh, yeah.